Today, we're building a Bugatti garage in GTA 5. We actually have six Bugattis that we're going to be upgrading. We're going to be starting off with the Adder, moving on over to the Nero, then on over to the Nero Custom, then over to the Thrax, then to the Z-Type, one of my personal favorites, and finally, a Bugatti Belide. The reason why I'm upgrading this is because I'm still just confused why we don't have this car in GTA 5 yet. This is an awesome Bugatti, and I'm really hoping to see it soon. Anyways, let's jump into the Adder and bring it to the custom shop. I honestly hate how much hate the Adder gets. It's still an amazing vehicle. And the Bugatti Veyron is the car that got me into cars. I was in grade 4 and my friend said, yo, look at how beautiful this car looks. And I was like, holy shit, that thing is awesome. Obviously now the Veyron's a little bit outdated, but in GTA 5, I mean, the Adder is still a pretty amazing car. The worst part about the Adder is the fact that there's literally no upgrades for it. Like, we, we've literally just upgraded the whole car, except for the wheels and paint. It looks the exact same. Like I said, hopefully when GTA Expanded and Enhanced comes out, or whatever it's called now, according to Rockstar, hopefully we can bring this thing into Benny's and turn it into a newer version of a Veyron, because that would be amazing. All right, let's throw a color on this thing. I really do like the look of this car in black. The issue I have, though, is I would like to make the secondary color like a nice yellow, because I think that will look really clean. As you guys can see, the secondary color changes this and the spoiler, which I don't like the look of. So if we make everything black, and then we also take off the pearlescent, because it does make a very big difference, and then we mess around with the wheels, I honestly think the super luxe track rims in black look awesome on this car. One thing I do like is that it naturally has red brake calibers, which makes me kind of want to put a pearlescent of like a nice red on, because I feel like that would really just make the car look beautiful, but it just pops a bit too much on the hood in my opinion, is we have like a dark red. A Cabernet red might actually work. You can barely even notice it. A sunset red is pretty much the same though. I think we'll, we'll go with that. Let's go with the sunset red on there. Let's take a look at this beauty outside. You gotta admit, this car looks pretty damn flawless. If I had to just change one little thing, is I would just make the grill border black. That's pretty much it. Other than that, like you gotta admit, for a car that came out in 2013, this thing looks absolutely beautiful. All right, let's bring her back into the garage, and then we'll go and hop inside the Chiron, or I guess the Nero. I honestly love having this house in GTA. Like, it's actually amazing. There we go. All right, let's hop into this beauty now. This is honestly a pretty amazing car still. The one thing I love about the Nero is it's actually relatively cheap when you think about it. Like, it's only $1.4 million, and it's pretty great. You compare it to something like the Nero Custom, which is obviously an extra $600,000, there really isn't too much of a difference between those two cars. I believe the top speed on the Nero Custom is literally one mile per hour faster than this car. Obviously, it does have more upgrades, but I mean, it's still a pretty amazing car, and it's only $1.4 million, and it could still keep up with a lot of the other cars you see on the roads. So yeah, I think we're going with all carbon for this car, and for the wheels, I think think I have an idea of what I kind of want to do with them. The stock rims are pretty beautiful on this car, so I just decided to throw them on, and then obviously I made them black. The only thing that would make it better is if we actually had the Trufade logo right in the middle there. I mean, we could throw some tire lettering on. Not really feeling too many of these at the moment. Let's change the color now. The one thing I like more about the Nero Custom compared to this is the fact that on the custom version, we can actually color this chrome trim right here. It's really annoying. I'm not a huge fan of chrome on some cars, but sadly, we cannot get rid of it unless, you know, we make the actual car chrome. I think we're going to go with a midnight purple for the primary, and for the secondary, I think we'll go with a black. For the trim color, I think we'll go with a uh, midnight purple as well there. There. And then I'm going to customize the Midnight Purple a little bit. So let's open up the trusty mod menu right here. Primary and then RGBs. And honestly, we all know this about Midnight Purple. It's just too dark. So let's raise it up a little bit. I'd say to about 30. I mean, obviously that Midnight Purple looks a lot better, but I am not feeling it for this car. A matte Midnight Purple on there, actually, it looks pretty clean because it doesn't really look too much like a Midnight Purple. It just looks like black, to be honest. But... It does have a little subtle tint to it, which I do like. This honestly looks pretty damn beautiful, but it's pretty much another black car. So I decided to change the rims to the Deep Lake Reserve Street rims because I think they look pretty nice. And honestly, I think I'm just going to end up going with a brushed black steel uh, primary color here, but we're going to throw a pearlescent on. And then all we do is head to metallic, hover over it, and change the plate real quick. And boom, now we can throw a pearlescent. 
on the, this paint job. I think I'm gonna go with a nice ice white on this. I actually really like the look of this. It makes this chrome trim like not pop out as much. So yeah, let's go with that. There we go. I mean, this card does look pretty awesome. Plus that metal finish ties in with the grill. It makes it look like all one color. And I think it makes it look a little bit better that way. All right, let's take this thing and we'll park, and we'll park it right next to the adder right there. Now let's hop into the Nero Custom because we can actually make this thing look awesome. And I already know exactly what I want to do to this car. This thing is going to look phenomenal. I have to admit the Nero Custom is still one of the most beautiful cars in GTA Online. There isn't a single thing I would change on this car. I love every single thing you can do to it. And the best part for me is the fact that we can actually change this grill up. We're gonna go carbon. Like, look at how much more aggressive this looks compared to the regular Nero. Like, this looks sick, bro. This looks so sick. Oh, a frost white looks beautiful, matching up with the wheels. Those are pure white rims as well, but I gotta love that ultra blue. I, I love the ultra blue on this car. Do we go with a carbon roof? I can't remember. I think we're gonna. The spoiler, I definitely go with the carbon spoiler. Yeah, for sure. There is one specific thing I hate, and it's not about the car. It's about Rockstar. Why? Why, Rockstar? Would you not just let us color the rims that come on the car? Like, bruh, having these tire walls match up with the primary, having the actual rims on the car with the Trufade logo looks beautiful. Now, let me just show you guys what this looks like with the rims that are identical to these, but they're not OG. I believe it's these rims right here. They are the exact same rims, but look at the difference. Look at that. The difference is literally that logo and the walls on the tires makes a huge difference. It makes the car look a thousand times better. Now, obviously I'm in the Los Santos Customs, so I could not mess with the liveries, but we are going with the basic livery on this thing. Oh, and then the best part of all, we can change the color of that stupid trim. Thank you very much. We're gonna have to go with that secondary color detail. That looks beautiful. We gotta go with the Trafade banner. Yeah, I think we're gonna end up going with these, the flush mount black hood pins. That looks pretty sick. We don't need to mess with any of this stuff. I mean, the seats, we might as well put some ballistic fiber track seats in there. And then let's remove the canards. And there we go. Absolutely beautiful. Guys, like I said, Rockstar needs to let us change the freaking stock tire color. Like, look at how much better this car looks with those tires on this car. Like, literally, just a quick drive with this thing, and you can see how much nicer it looks. Like, look at the wheels spin with them. Like, that is just stunning. Like I said, Nero Custom, hands down, one of the most beautiful cars we have in GTA Online. Absolutely beautiful. Even if you blacked the car out, it would look clean. Even if you made the primary color white, it would look clean. No matter what you did, this car would look beautiful just because of those stock tires. I really hate how we cannot change the color of those. It's probably one of my biggest pet peeves about this game right now, actually. All right, let's jump into the Thrax and bring her on over there as well. Like, bro, even these rims, look at how badass these rims are. And then let's just change the color to black. Boom, bro. Bro, the Trufade logos are the primary color. Like, you're kidding me. Okay, guys, Rockstar needs to add this in expanded internet. It's like, this, this is just beautiful. How is this not a thing already in the game? I seriously don't understand half the decisions they make. You guys got to agree with me. There is so many things we really wonder about in GTA 5. Damn, look at these exhausts. These are actually some crazy exhaust systems. Holy shit. Oh yeah, I do like how we could change the grill on this car. Like all of the other cars have the exact same grills. At least we can mess with this one just a little bit, but we're really not going to do too much. We're just going to keep it basic. Crossed grill all the way. For the hoods, I do like these. These these are pretty clean, but I think we're going to go with something like this. Yeah, making this car into a race car actually looks awesome. There aren't too many liveries I really like though. I think I might go with this though. This actually looks pretty nice. Let's go with a black stripe and then let's go with a black plate. Primary color. I'm thinking, uh, uh, let's try this. I'm liking that. I am liking that. Ooh, even, oh yeah, I think we're going with this, guys. I think we're going with the bluish silver. That, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. I usually never go with a color like this on any of my cars. And we obviously got to go with the spoiler. Race transmission. Oh my God, and the carbon trim. Holy shit. I'm really liking the look of this thing right now. I'm not sure if it's just the color of the car or if it's the wheels that's doing it for me, but I don't really know. This looks amazing. This really does look amazing. All right, let's park this thing next to the Chiron, and I want you guys to comment down below 
Which one do you think looks better? By the way, if you're considering purchasing this car for racing, I would not recommend it. It's uh, not a, it's not the best car. Damn, look at these Bugattis. This is looking clean. All right, let's see. Let's see here. Devo or Nero Custom? I mean, I mean, they're both looking pretty proper. Personally, I like the Nero Custom solely because of those stock wheels. All right, let's hop into the Z-Type and bring that on over to the custom shop, and then we will take the Bugatti Bolide. The Z-Type is still, in my opinion, one of the nicest sports classic cars in the game, aside the Turismo Classic, because I do love the look of that thing. I think for the next build we're going to do, I'm kind of thinking we're going to go with Ferraris, because uh, I really need to put that car because I really need to customize that car again. I love the look of it. For the Z-Type though, let's uh let's do some crazy shit here. It looks like it's squinting. That's funny. I love how you change this as the primary and then we got that street going right here for the secondary. Surrounds the entire grill and then back up all the way around the back. I love the color customization on this car. And I really like the diamond blue. God damn, that is a really nice color. Or maybe a surf blue. Maybe a surf blue, yeah. And then for the pearlescent, I mean... I think we should just go with a regular blue. Kind of like to look at that. Custom side skirts. Why not? Let's throw them on. Transmission, turbo. For the wheels. I think for the wheels, we're going to go with the conical turbo fan wheels. I actually kind of like the look of them on this car. It's definitely a little bit of a... It's definitely a bit of a different approach than what I would normally do to this car. The wheels aren't my favorite in the world, but I just feel like they look pretty decent on this with this colorway in my opinion obviously another build that looks great on the z-type and practically any car in this game is just completely black but i'm not gonna make a fully blacked out bugatti garage i could make a fully blacked out garage like a nice 10 car fully blacked out garage that would be pretty cool i might honestly change this car in a little bit i'm not too sure how i'm feeling about it right now actually i'm kind of changing my mind especially now that i brought it in this garage and i could really see that chrome yeah i'm gonna just change the wheels yeah, the Aerostar street rims. I'm liking the look of that. I actually am. I'm I'm really surprised. I like the look of that. I, I don't think I've ever put those rims on any other car before. And now let's upgrade this beast. The one thing I'm not a huge fan of on this car, though, is the wheels. They just, uh, they're just not my style. You, you really can't customize anything on it. It's, it's just the color alone. And the color I like the most on this is, oh, actually, that... That kind of looks awesome. There's a lot of colors that look nice on this car. I haven't seen a bad color yet. The one I would go with is obviously ultra blue or a racing blue. I think I might actually go with this, but everything in this growth looks nice. Even the gasoline green looks beautiful. Yeah, we'll go with a racing blue for that. And then for the secondary color, we'll just go with a nice simple pure black. And then honestly, pearlescent. Yeah, we got to go with that ultra blue. <laughs> we got to go with that ultra blue. For the wheels, I do like the look at the Ford Star wheel. The I do like the look at the Ford Star rims on this car. I think that looks pretty great. Like I said, I absolutely love this car, and I still don't understand why we don't have it in GTA Online yet. It is a beautiful, beautiful Bugatti, guys. This garage looks pretty freaking amazing. I'm loving the look of all of the cars that we have here, even the Z-Type. I didn't think I was going to go with chrome rims on this thing at the end of the day, but somehow we did. And then we move on over to the Thrax and to the Nero Custom, like, man, those are two beautiful cars. And then we make our way back over here, and I have to admit, I think the worst looking car in this whole garage is going to be the regular Nero. Like, that colorway is just not my favorite. And then, of course, the Adder looks absolutely stunning. But anyways, that is pretty much going to wrap the video up for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you went on to enjoy it. If you guys want to see another garage build like this, be sure to comment down below which brand, and I will recreate it in GTA 5. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the next video.